Welcome back to the Cinemasker. I'm your host, James, coming at you from the nerd room, working on nerd stuff. And I got Joey Diaz. The first man to smoke marijuana never really smoked it. He inhaled it. He was a Chinese man. He was a very great man. And whenever he lit the, 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 the plant, it wasn't to get high. But he would start to get high. And every time he got high, a blue bird would come to him and tell him to conquer his neighboring neighborhoods. And that's exactly what he did, and he became a great emperor in China. Oh, really? It's the truth. The first guy that ever got high was a Chinese dude. So we're going to talk some, uh, you know, movies we've seen, games we've played, some fun stuff. Have you ever been to Disneyland? You were just there and... Very clean. Very organized. Yeah, yeah. You wake up, your shirt's bombed backwards and shit, your pants are missing. <laughs> oh, that's funny because, like, I almost forgot about that. Wow. Mm -hmm. You scared me the other day, though. You had Eddie huh. on the ropes, right? He was thinking you went back with the CIA. You know, he went with the CIA. Who knows? Like, uh... Because, um... How you gonna talk to me? What do you want to talk to me about? Um, it's really hard to explain, but uh, I don't know what the fuck. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's. I, I went to this concert actually. Um, you know, got to go out to a concert. Pretty cool. Uh, it was a small venue in Philly. Um, the this is it. This what? is it. I put on an album, and again, I'm very sorry if I offend somebody. I didn't name it this. He did. So take your fucking problem up with him. Name of the album is Bicentennial Nigga. Um, I haven't gotten that one yet, but it's pretty hard to find. I, I put it on. I listened to it twice, and I did an edible and cried. Yeah. I actually bought a cassette the other day. A couple of cassettes. You know, I'll kick an aborted feed. You know, that's not my style. It sounds like something I'd like. Joe Diaz is a coke fiend. It's 2007. Joe Diaz comes to a party at your house. There's two cell phones missing. Oh, cool. That's the way I am, too. <laughs> okay, then. That's what made me think of it when, yeah, talking about outdated. At one point, I believe it was weed. Then it became that shit that Batman shot at the Green Hornet. It was like pedophile smoke. Yeah. I grew up on the word retarded. Oh, good. So it's not just me then. I could update you on like some stuff I saw, you know, because that's, that's always, you know, a fun thing. Gaba, gooba, gooba. I saw the entire series of Better Call Saul and I hate it. Are you fucking kidding me? It's like watching paint dry. And um, there's even there's even like a part in there where you're you're watching them paint their office. To get the fuck up before I fucking kill you, you dumb motherfucker! Go home, you little guinea fuck! Go home, you little guinea fuck! You fucking dead motherfucker! Call oh, your Jesus. fucking guinea fucking greaseball father. Go ahead, I dare you. He's probably a greaseball just like you. You dumb fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right, cool guys. I'm going to get back to some nerd stuff. Thank you, brother. There was no losing in this fucking house. Do you understand me? Oh. There's no fucking losers in my fucking house. Sleep in the garage. No dinner. <clears throat> you could see the rage from the fucking eight years in that Turkish jail getting fucked in the ass, eating that hummus. Drinking that fucking watered down tea. But Pistol Pete knew how to fucking dribble jack. And Pistol Pete would take you deep. That motherfucker Stone Cold raped me. <laughs> oh my God.